Hello, welcome back everybody. The moment you were waiting for. A new bow by Alibo. It's the Chu Spring and Autumn Period bow. It's from the Chu Dynasty. It was 770 to 460 before Christ. So quite long ago. Looks a bit like an Assyrian bow. Alibo made this bow a little longer than it was in all these drawings and paintings and whatever you could find of it. But that's fine by me. Technical wise first, $300 including shipping, 20 to 50 pounds. String length of 147 centimeters. The bow is strong 155 centimeters. Bow length from seer to seer is 137 centimeters. I can't read what I wrote there. Longer than original and has a modified grip. And the max draw, and this is the interesting part, is 35 inches. So you get another pretty, pretty uh, 35 inch draw polymer from five in laminated from Alibo. So not only the Tang Chang'an. And the Dunhuang. So pretty new and I am very excited what we have now. We have decoration on it. Ho, 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 ho. You. So let's tie this down here otherwise it will fly away. It's a little windy today. So let's about look at this limbs and very short very thin sears reinforced with techno wood I guess there doesn't seem there is no foam no core stable core nothing we have a dark wood riser with the white uh, I think I don't know what it is arrow passes we have a leather wrap handle we have some decoration stickers here they look good if you like them and the bow is has 32 pounds at 28 and 42 pounds at 33, but the max draw is 35. So, but you know already now, 33 is what you should draw this bow. Handle is very narrow, shelf is very, uh, arrow pass is very narrow, but the handle is very deep. So we have something to hold on. And I think for the control of this bow, does make totally sense. Looks good, it's bamboo clear. Looks good. Feels good. I'm still worried about the third bow, which was supposed to be in this box, the Turkish one. I thought I can do a directly comparison with the old Turkish bow, but you know, things happen. Either it was not in the box or customs needed one for themselves. It's almost 60 inches and a 35 inch max draw, which will give you an F value of over there. Impressive. I think this is a good bow. I, I have this feeling. I have this feeling. I got a feeling. And we have a string, obviously. So, and don't worry if you order something and Alibo doesn't answer directly. There is only one English speaker in the whole company, and when he is not there, emails and requests will be not answered instantaneously. So, 32 inches, a 32 pounds, a 28 or 34. Wow, look at this pretty bow, huh? Like an Assyrian bow. We have a brace height off. I need to check, not that the camera will turn off. Brace height of seven and a quarter. Wow, and feels awesome in the hand. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Oh. Oh. There is no end. Oh. Wow. That's a bow. Guys, that's a bow. Where do I have an arrow? This is one of Alibo's 36 inch arrows. In carbon, look at this. Oh. Yee. Can't wait to shoot this beast. Nice. And before we shoot this bow, we do what we always do. At 28 we have 32, as promised, 32.1. Very good. 
and at 33 we have 40 and at 35 we would have 45. It looks like this, make it straight, so 28 inches, nothing fancy. 30 inches, looking good, and I guess the string angle at 30 is just, you know what, why should I guess? String angle at 60, just fine, 29, 30 inches, you reach the maximum. So everything else is nice to have, like 32, nice curves, and 34. I don't have 35. So it would do one inch more, but they write the max poundage at 33, so they think it's 33 is the best performing. At 30 inches you have already 60 degrees string angle, and you see at 34 you are already way off with a string angle, so closer to almost 90. No, okay, not really, but way beyond 60, so 30 inches is just a nice performing. Draws more if you have to, it's nice. Feels good, it's what you get. Now let's shoot. We have roughly 40 pounds at 33. Now let's see the arrows, they are 500 grain. All my arrows are now a little too heavy, they don't have 10 grain, but this is what you get. <laughs> nice. So they are 34 inches, they're just fine. See, nice. So everything, 30, 32, these are the Alibo arrows, they are 500, I think, I forgot. They're a bit too long. Back there you feel it then a little, but still look, look at this draw. Not done yet. They have the bamboo arrows, 560 grain. They fly nice. They are, but they are 33 inches long. But they are cool. So, Katara works with this bow, but it's, I tell you. Due to the length and the shape of this bow in this direction, this bow is very wiggly. So here it's really like, you see that? But it's, it's a design of the bow, you can't change that. But surprisingly in this direction, the bow is extremely sturdy for thin limbs for this really slick construction in this direction the bow is very sturdy so this gives me a really safe feeling when i draw and yeah if you remove me there's nothing no wiggle nothing whatsoever so really good only here it's wobbly and wibbly but you have to deal with it simply don't do it and then it doesn't matter for the rest draw experience wise is Nice. My 34 inch carbons at 20. Oh, nice. At 30. Ooh, a little too high. That was me. And a little low. Hmm. The 560 grain bamboo arrows. Nice. And on 30. Oh yeah. And Alipo's arrows. Nice. So this is an Assyrian bow for $300. Needs a little. They are 500 at 34. Oops, I need to go behind the speedo. 154, 166, it's a snappy one. Oh, I only have two left now. I forgot one arrow somewhere. 520 grain, 156.
561. They are 560 grain, 33 inches, heavy, 124, I don't think so. 124, didn't measure. Didn't measure. And this is a 600 grain. Ah, didn't measure. 171, uh, we're talking. 167, 520 grain. 165, so this is what you get, 160, 170. I think you could shoot 10 grain arrows, but I don't have, 161. 163, 560 grain, getting then a little too heavy for this bow. 163, I don't think. Why don't you measure these ones, huh? Oh, 108, I don't think so. 130, more likely. Didn't measure. And the heavy one, we shoot it on the right side. Uh, 144, not too bad for a 600 grain arrow. Kicks arrows nice away. Of course, I hear you're asking, could you do? You could do very well. This handle is really made for it. Look at this. And even only 29 inch arrows, this bow kicks away solid and is accurate. Nice group, but I don't show again. Really nice. So one thing, simply these stickers here. I don't know if you have the option, but if it's optional, it would be better. I think not everybody likes these colors and this shiny stuff here. For the rest, it's, I said, a little wobbly, but it's very sturdy, very accurate, very forgiving because of the long limbs. So horse archers might like that. So of course you can take the arrows here the other way around too. The handle is a little deep, so you need to get used to it. But once you have the feeling for it, it works too. Okay. It's no problem. You grab them, you load them. You shoot them. I said if you want hoops, if you want to shoot katra, comes natural, feels good. Let's shoot this heavy 600 grainy again. And you can play with draw length. So if you draw 30 inches or 31, 32, go for it, feels good. If you draw 34 inches or you want to draw more, with this bow you have the options up to 35. At 33 you have the max poundage written on the bow. Keep this in mind. Mm, one more from Ali bow. They were good with this bow. Point there, you draw and you shoot. Makes your life easy. It only takes a few arrows that you get used to this bow. So when the bells are done, I can start talking again. So the Chu bow laminated autumn spring period really nice bow a bit longer than the original but you have a long draw with it up to 35 inches at 33 you have here the max draw written of 42 pounds 32 at 28 we did the measurings this bow can take almost every arrow so i would say from 10 grain from 10 grain onwards it's nice it even shoots 600 grain arrows very nice away so that's then whatever kind of 13 14 15 grain per pound but with 10 you should be fine horse archers might like it it's a little long okay now the church starts so and this is what you get you get a really pretty bow here with nice very thin sears maybe it's like this that you see the sunshine Nice sears reinforced with techno wood, a nice deep knock groove, very thin, very sleek. You have your bamboo limbs as we know it. We have the arrow pass, a leather wrap handle. And then of course you have these stickers, but here you need to see if you like them, they are there. If you don't like them, I guess you can order this bow without them for the rest. It's a really pretty bow. 
by Alibo. The shelf is very narrow, which makes your life easy. It's a very slim, very slick. It's a beautiful bow, beautiful curve. So it looks like an Assyrian bow or a long Turkish bow, as you wish. Of course, the handle is not directly shaped like a Turkish bow. It's a little more straightforward, a bit forward and a bit back. Bye bye. So it's really nice. The string is nice made. As we know it from Ali bow, there's no problem at all whatsoever. This bow is great. The draw experience of this bow is it doesn't want to end to draw 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Then you feel it, but you could do 35. After 33, you feel it a lot. The max performance is at 30 inches. This is almost all I can say. What I can say is thank you very much, Ali Bow, for building this bow. This is now I would say an Assyrian bow laminated on a budget, which performs very well and has a really nice draw length to play with. So you saw even with 29 inch arrows, this bow kicks the arrows away. So from 28, nine inch arrows up to 33, four, five. Everything is fine with this bow, multi-purpose. Utility bow for horseback, for foot archers, every purpose worth checking this bow out and of course if you consider getting one of this now you can check in at the Ali bow shop and you know what you can do you can put in the voucher code armin10 you get 10 percent off 300 dollar bow 30 percent off i think it's not so bad thank you very much Ali bow for doing this we are very happy people because of you and for the rest thank you very much for watching i catch you in the next one